Rizal's secret departure in Spain. Rizal decided to leave the country not just to complete his medical studies in Europe. He then purposed for his voyage to make a name for himself in the realm of journalism, to observe and study European society, and to prepare himself for the task of liberating the Filipinos from Spanish tyranny. Secret Departure May 1, 1882, Rizal left Calamba and was able to reach Manila after 10 hours of journey via Caramata. No one among the family members of Rizal knew his departure for Spain except Pasiano, Saturnina, his tío Antonio, and few friends. His brother Pasiano did everything to ensure that Rizal can leave the country secretly. He secured Rizal a passport with the name Jose Mercado. Rizal stayed in Manila for two days before his trip to Spain. Before leaving, he heard the Mass at Santo Domingo Church in the vaulted city and then proceeded to Pasig to board the cruiser Salvador found for Singapore. Itinerary to Spain He felt very sad leaving his country and family. To entertain himself, Rizal made sketches of his fellow passengers and things he saw along the way. Arrived at Singapore, after one week and stayed for two days, took time to visit its botanical garden, art galleries, parks, and some historical spots. He recorded in his diary every detail of what he was able to observe. Rizal boarded the ship Nemna, which shall ferry him to France. The ship stopped over at the Point Gal in Ceylon, Aden, and Port Said at Suez Canal. June 11, 1882, the steamer reached the Naples. Rizal was impressed with Naples as an Italian city for its panoramic beauty and lively people. June 12, 1882, from Naples, the steamer sailed to France. It docked at the harbor of Marseilles. Rizal was impressed by the country of the customs police. He was likewise enchanted by its graceful and impressive buildings and the courtesy and the refined manners of the Frenchmen. Rizal in Barcelona Rizal was welcomed by the Filipinos in Barcelona, most of whom were his former classmates at Ateneo Municipal. They had a welcome party at the Faber's Coffee House La Plaza de Cataluna. Rizal had a walk around the city to see the famous historical spots of Barcelona. While in Barcelona, Rizal took time writing to his family, relatives, and friends in the Philippines. He did not forget one of these missions that of making a name for himself in the field of writing. Mashana believed that Rizal would be able to express his nationalistic and patriotic sentiment which in effect can arouse the hostility and suspicion of the Spanish regime. Rizal will be transformed into a patriot, a novelist, and a nationalist. El Amor Patrio, Love of Conley, was spent in the first months he was overseas in 1880. It appeared in Jarion Filipino in Manila under the Sir Dim La Ong La At on 20 August 1882. <laughs> Sa dahilang ang pag-ibig sa inang bagay, isang damdaming dunay na katulungo. Sapagkat naroroon ang mga kauna-unahang alaala ng kamususa. Isang masamang tulang awitin na ang kabataan lamang ang nakakikilala. Sa mga bakas nito'y sumisibol ang bulaklak ng kawalang mali. Sapagkat ito'y nahihimbing ang buong nakaraan at nababanak ang isang ina. Pero bakit ang nagpagalala? Baka nagnakaw din. Kayong nawala ng isang ina, ng isang ina, ng isang kapatid, ng isang asawa, ng isang anak, ng isang kasintahan. Sa wakas, masiyang pinagpatayan ang inyong pangarap at sa inyong sarili na nakagantong kayo ng isang malalang at kasindak-sindak na kawalan. Dari ang mga bayan Mahalin ang isya na gaya ng naragama. Kayong nawala ng mukhiin ng inyong kaluluwa. Kayong sa pagkakasugat ng inyong puso, 
nakita ninyong naglahong isa-isa ang inyong mga pangalan at tutuloy ang mga punong kawag sa tabulan ay nasumpungan ninyo ang inyong sarili na may kulakilak at walang tao at ngayong nananabik na magpahal ay wala mong kayo nakita karamang dapat sa inyo narihin ang inyong bayan mahalin mo siya Rizal moves to Madrid September 1882 Rizal decided to move to the capital city of Spain to continue his studies. He enrolled in philosophy and letters and licentiate in the medicine at the Universidad Central de Madrid. He took lessons in painting and sculpture at the Academia of the San Fernando. Lessons in fencing at the school of San San Carbonell. And lessons in English, French and German in Madrid Ateneo. He even contemplated taking the examination in Roman law for possible enrollment in law. June 5 to 26, he took the medical examination. Fortunately, he passed the examination at the same time. He passed the examination in Greek, Latin, and World History. Rizal was awarded the degree of licentiate in medicine for passing the medical examination for the course. Rizal's affair with Consuelo. Don Pablo Ortega E. Ray the former city mayor of Manila during the time of Governor Carlos de la Torre, father of Pilar and Consuelo. Rizal was attracted to Consuelo due to her refined manners and enchanting smile. He gave flowers occasionally with Consuelo appreciated. Rizal toast to Luna and Hidalgo. Juan Luna and Felix Hidalgo emerged winners in the 1884 Madrid Exposition. Luna was awarded a gold medal for his painting, the Espolarium, while Hidalgo, a silver medal for his entry, Christian Virgins Exposed to the Populace. A banquet was tendered in honor of these two Filipino artists at the Cafe Ingles in June 25, 1884, with Rizal delivering the key note speech. The speech of Salut Rizal, delivered during the occasion, came to be called Brandis. This was taken from gems of Philippine oratory, selection representing 14 centuries of the Philippine thought, carefully compiled from credible sources in substitution from pre-Spanish writings destroyed by missionary zeal, to supplement the later literature stunted by intolerant religious and political censorship, and as a specimen of the untrammeled present-day uterus by Austin Craig, 3437, University of Manila, Manila, 1924.